Morihei Weshiba O Sensei in action on the mats of the Aikikai Hanbu Dojo in Tokyo. The footage in question was taken at the beginning of 1969. Morihei Weshiba took his last class on March 10, 1969, after which he was diagnosed with cancer of the liver and hospitalized. He died shortly after, on April 26, 1969. Although terminally ill with cancer, at 85 years of age he showed more physicality in his performance than anyone could expect in the case. Even in his last public demonstration, people fell like skittles in a muffled, almost magical atmosphere. Almost all the merit and uniqueness of Aikido lies in the final part of Morihei Weshiba's life, in the incomprehensible union of martial performance and spiritual wisdom, where one affects the other and vice versa. His direct teaching has little or nothing technical in a martial sense. One percent of it, maybe. The rest is pressing enthusiastic spiritual guidance. His teaching is almost entirely elusive. It is quite clear that martial technicalism is pushed into the background, to make way for a revolutionary and disruptive sense of Budo, that feeds on other things. These things, generally, did not please his successors, and there was a way, even though informal deference, of manifesting that dissent. The often spoken about mention, that Morihei Weshiba was a kami, something unattainable. Studying Ban and Aikido, the Aikido of last years, requires a reversal of approach. Shifting the focus of attention from the techniques and their details, to something that is also technical, which is never talked about on the Aikido mats. In the very word Aiki, is contained the nourishing milk of Aikido, that which brings together the old and the young, the expert and the beginner, stitching together the opposites.